Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel from Evelyn and Peter and today I have probably one of the most simple designs that I've ever released for you guys, but it's also super satisfying to make because it's so quick and you get something really cute out of it at the end. But here it is. It's just a big cozy throw blanket. This is Lion Brand's um, Gopher Fleece Sherpa yarn. So this is the Sherpa yarn and I'm using the Seafoam color. And so this blanket th that I did and what the pattern is written for is only seven um, skeins of this yarn. But you can easily add more to make it as big as you want or as long as you want. Um, but it's honestly super simple. I made this in just a few days you can make it even quicker if you wanted to it would be really great for gifts or just even to keep for yourself obviously but um it's worked up all in single crochet stitches so if you're a beginner you can totally do this um you might need a tiny bit of practice using the sherpa yarn but it's honestly not that bad it's not that hard to see the stitches uh, you can see me in the video uh, showing you guys how to feel the stitches as you go. The hook that you're using is a 15 millimeter, so it makes the stitches large enough that it's honestly pretty easy to see. So if you're a complete, complete beginner and you've never crocheted before, I definitely recommend practicing some single crochets with just regular yarn before doing this. But if you know how to single crochet, then you should have no problem with this. Um, and using this yarn and then for the hook I'm using the 15 millimeter but I know depending on where you live and what stores you have around you to get hooks um, if you're having trouble finding the 15 millimeter you can definitely size up to the 15.75 or even the the 16 millimeter hook so it totally doesn't matter um, and other than that you just need a yarn needle to weave in your ends at the end and yeah, it's that simple, just chains and single crochets all the way through. So let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. And then as always, this pattern is free on my blog. So if you prefer the written version, you can find that on my blog and I'll link that in, in the description. And then this is also a kit on linebrand.com. And for the kit, you get all the yarn. Plus you can change out your yarn color if you don't want the seafoam color that I'm using here. Um, and then it also comes with the printable PDF digital download of the pattern. So other than that, I'll just have everything linked for you guys. And that's really all you need to know for this pattern. Super quick, super fun, and you get a really cute cozy blanket out of it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. So to make your blanket, you're going to need some gopher fleece Sherpa yarn. This is by Lion Brand and it is a jumbo seven weight yarn. And then you will also need a 15 millimeter PQ crochet hook. And if you can't find a 15 millimeter, a 15.75 is fine as well. And then you're also going to need some scissors and a large needle. So to start off, we're going to be making a slip knot. So grab the yarn and wrap it around your fingers and then pull the yarn through the loop and off your hand. And then go ahead and insert your hook and pull tight. And so we're going to be doing some chains to start us off. So for a chain, you just yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Each time you do that is one chain and you need to do it a total of 53 times. So you should have a total of 53 chains at this point. I only have nine because I'm making my small swatch to show you guys how to do this. And now we're going to start row one. So we're going to be working one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So you can feel it with your finger and insert your hook into the second chain and work one single crochet stitch. I'll show you that again. Use your hand and feel for the next stitch, the little gap, and insert your hook and then yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. So again, just feel your way to the next chain and that's where you'll put your hook for the next single crochet. Work your single crochet stitch and just do this all the way across the row. So you're just going to work one single crochet into each chain all the way across 
for a total of 52 single crochet. And don't worry too much about where you're putting the hook. Um, if you make a mistake, this yarn is very forgiving. You will not be able to see your mistake. So the most important part is just making sure you have the correct stitch count. So if you put your hook underneath the back bump of the chain or you put it underneath both loops, doesn't matter how you like to do it as long as you're working one single crochet into each chain all the way across the row. So I had chain nine for my little swatch here. So I have a total of eight single crochet and you can also go back and feel your stitches. If you want to count and make sure that you have all of them and you didn't accidentally skip a chain, you can do that as well, but you should have a total of 52 single crochet. So now we're going to start row two. So go ahead and chain one and turn your work. And now we're just going to be working single crochet stitches all the way back down the row. So again, find that very first single crochet stitch from the row below and insert your hook and then work a single crochet. Again, find the next stitch of the row and work another single crochet and just do this all the way across. So you're just going to be feeling your way across since you can't really see the stitches. You'll feel like a little bump from the single crochet um, and the thread from the yarn. And then in the hole right next to it is where you will be working your stitch. And then just make sure that you're putting it through both the front and the back loop. So just make sure when you put your hook in that it's underneath both of them and you can kind of wiggle around and feel that you're underneath both of those and then just work your stitch as normal and make sure you don't miss that last single crochet of the row. It can be um, easy to miss if you're not paying attention and then your stitch count for this row will also be staying the same at 52 stitches. And we're just going to repeat this row for the rest of the blanket. So chain one and turn your work. And this starts row three. And you're going to do the exact same thing. So rows three through 76 are just repeating row two. So you're just working one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. Chain one and turn your work. And then work all the way back down. Use your fingers as you go to find your stitch. Um, your stitch count will be the same throughout the entire blanket. You can also feel your rows the same way that you're feeling the stitches um, by just feeling them. And if you want to keep track of your rows, you can use stitch markers and place them every five rows or so just to make it easier. But I found that I really didn't need to at all. If you're working with the Lion Brand kit, I just recommend continuing and working as many rows as you have yarn. And then once you run out of yarn, you can just tie off. So really, you don't even need to keep a row count if you don't want to. I had enough yarn to make 76 rows. Um, so you can just go until you run out of yarn or if you're wanting to do the exact same amount of rows that I did, you will have to go back and count them. But I used a total of seven skeins of this Sherpa fleece yarn and I just kept going until I ran out. I also wanted to point out that if you have more than seven skeins of this yarn, you can always add some width to your blanket by adding more chains in the beginning to make it a little bit wider and then just continue on as normal working your single crochet stitches in every row. But that is it for this pattern, you guys. It is so simple and this is a really good project to do if you are learning how to use this Sherpa fleece or fluffy yarn. When you get to the end of your blanket and you're ready to tie off, you can just yarn over and pull through and cut your yarn and then go ahead and weave in any of the extra ends that you have. But that is it for the blanket and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching.